hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator. Um, I was just recording one of my previous, my other videos on Michigan farming, and I got done with it. And I checked the mod hub, and it looks like we have a new map. And it says it's called Brook right here, but in the mod hub when you download it, it's called. I'm probably gonna murder this, but Hoff, Hoff Gut. Oh, sorry, my cat just walked on my keyboard. But anyway, it's called Hoff Gut Brook, and it's by. Snick snack. So, I decided we would check it out, and I started on New Farmer, as always, when I do when we're doing these first look at a map. So we will see what equipment we start with. But first of all, let's take a look. Whoa, this map is huge. At the map. So you got a lot of big fields here, and crazy shapes. It's kind of different for me, anyway. There's there's a little field. How much do these things cost? 143. Whoa, a million bucks. These are some expensive fields. So it looks like we start here with field 29. Let's go look at it. And first of all, before we do that, let's just take a look around the farm. Oh, nice. We got the sliding doors. This looks like it's a good like a good hayloft. I was going to see if we, Oh, yeah, we can get up here. Nice, you just got bales of hay. Yeah, nice little hay barn. Or you could store your equipment in here if you wanted to. And an old school scythe. And it looks like you start with... There's some front weights for your tractors. And you got two big silos. Nice. And the field you start with looks like it's just a straight grass field. And that is the only field you start with. Yep, field 29. I like the big area for placeables. And then you start with a little fertilizer and a little weeder and a little planter. And, oh, you even got a uh, silage bay. That's nice. Oh, this is kind of a cool feature. Just like some big water tanks. And another little shed for machines. Can you open these? Oh, you can. Nice. So this is uh, where cows would go, right? Yeah. I like the ones that when they put the features in where you can kind of drive through them. That's pretty cool. Oh, my gosh. My cat's walking on my keyboard again. Oh, he's making this jump. Sorry, guys. Um, and over here, I'm looking at the mini map. It looks like we have this is our horse pasture or horse paddock, horse place. Oh, and an openable gate. Very cool. I still have yet to find what tractors we can start with. Maybe they're hiding in here. Oh, no, we got a, a plow and a cultivator, discaro, something like that. Do we have tractors? Oh, I bet they're over here, huh? Oh, I can see we start with a New Holland harvester. That's cool. Sounds good. And we start with a, a case tractor, a John Deere, a little grain cart, and this New Holland Harvester. I'm just going to check in here and see if we missed anything. Oh, and you start with a, a lizard pickup. So yeah, you have the case Maxim, and you have the John Deere 6135M, and the TX32 New Holland, the pickup, the TKD 302 grain cart, your header, your plow, your cultivator, your cedar planter, and your fertilizer, your weeder, and your two weights, big grain silo, and a vehicle workshop. You start with all that. So now we have a little idea. Oh, so there's the workshop. It's just right next to where our uh, truck's parked at. Very nice. So let's go 
just have a look at the map itself. The fields are big. The shop looks like it is. So we're right here. This little green dot. Man, this thing is huge. And the shop is down here. So we're going to want to. Looks like we're going to want to exit our farm over here. But this is kind of nice. I like the areas right here. So like say you wanted, well we have cows and horses, but say you wanted sheep or chickens. Look, there's plenty of room right there to put those placeables down. And it looks like there's a whole bunch of other stuff on the map as well that kind of doesn't, well it shows up. But I want to go, before we go to the shop, I want to go have a look at these buildings over here. I saw to the left up here. Oh, and we drive on the right side of the road. I believe it is, uh, from what the description said, it's, uh, it's kind of like based in, in Poland. I think it said it had a nice Polish climate. Oh, nice. So, yeah, you just have a whole bunch of, you could buy this. Let's see how much this area is. So, we're right here. 35. Oh, huh. not bad at all. So, if you wanted to do a different start or even in New Farmer, eventually you could buy this area. And it's only 282,000. Yeah, some of these are actually pretty affordable, but then you get to like the big ones and they're a bit more expensive. So you could buy that one right off the bat. It's only 80 grand. All right, let's continue our way to the shop. Oh, I have to have to see how to get there again. So it looks like we're going to want to follow the main road all the way down. So we'll go back out to the main road. I've never actually driven one of these trucks. I always get that little, uh, the older, whoa, whoa, Frecky. Maybe you should stick to driving this, not driving this truck. But I always buy the, the older one. This is cool. It's got like houses all over. Hold on. I know I wanted to go to the shop, but we have to look around. Have a quick look-see. Oh, we're going to be driving through these guys' yards. Sorry, guys. Oh, well, they have a nice little patio. Go eat lunch. Oh, it's just a table. And a uh, sun tanning chair. Oh, so these are just more little houses. I like the detail. Look, you put, like, you could, or he or she, whoever made it, put, uh, like, the yard. Looks good. Whoa, what's up? What's this up here? Looks like this could be like a little forestry section if you wanted to cut down stuff. It's very pretty in here. Whoa. So this is kind of nice. I didn't I didn't plan on having a new map release today, but looks like we did. We got another new map for us to enjoy. The fields are humongous. I wonder if you can... Probably not. I was wondering if you could cut down these. Here, let's let's buy a chainsaw. I, I don't think you can, but let's just see. And I know I won't be able to because it's not our property. But we should be able to see if you can. Nope, you can't. That's okay, though. I wonder if they are collidable. If you can drive into them or if you can drive through them. Oh. Nope. This is pretty cool. Got like a nice little neighborhood going on over here. Oh no, big truck coming our way. Whoa. Sorry, truck. Man, I am horrible at driving this thing. Oh, and a nice little pond. A little lake area. This is really cool. So all these areas kind of connect together. Oh no, they don't. It just looks like they do. All this guy's got little sheds back here. Very cool. A little garbage around. I wonder if these lights right here, if they light up at nighttime. That'd be interesting. 
Okay, let's continue our way down this road. It's pretty cool that there's houses all around. Little narrow roads, though. Definitely gonna need a header trailer if you're trying to go anywhere. Whoop. Whoop. Man, I suck at driving this truck. Okay, now we're in the big open field area. But with these trees right here, you're definitely gonna need a header trailer. A nice long stretch of road. Look how big these fields are. That's incredible. Oh, we're coming up on a car. Hopefully I don't wreck. Whew. Pat myself on the back for that one. Whoa, whoa. I know I should probably slow down, but we want to see what's up here, don't we? Okay, so this looks like... This is the shop. It looks like we got the shop. Uh, lime station and uh, is this a cell point? It looks like yeah, maybe this is a cell point right here, all in one. And out of curiosity, I just want to see where stuff spawns because I've noticed sometimes when you buy certain things, we're just gonna buy this. Yeah, and on some maps like on Alps Panorama, when you buy stuff, they spawn inside here which is cool but it's definitely a, a chore to get the things out of the shop sometimes oh what's this is that to like park stuff up on we're gonna try it I've never actually seen this tractor before that's pretty cool it's neat looking So let's say you wanted to put this tractor up on display, like an advertisement. Is that what this is about? To like advertise stuff? They do that in the US with like trucks and stuff. Like that. That's what it looks like it's for. I imagine that's what it's for. Probably totally wrong. Hold on. Maybe it's like so you could work on it, or you. Could, it's probably so you can see underneath it and stuff. I don't know. It's still a cool little feature. So here's the shop. Let's see what else we got going on. Over here, we got some more cell points. It looks like, and the animal dealer. What is this place? Oh no, let's go check it out. I gotta bring up a map. So we're gonna want to go this way. Oh, first we're gonna wanna go this way. And get on the road. Okay. I think I can find it now. It is a nice little shop area. This map has a very different feel to it. At least different than what I'm used to, so. It's kinda cool. I imagine these fields would give you a lot of money but you'd have to invest a lot of time into harvesting and planting these things like look at this one on the side right here we're gonna drive through it I know very mean but look at this thing I mean I play on Michigan farms and I I thought those fields were huge look at this field this would be definitely a good map for like multiplayer single player you're gonna have your work cut out for you dude like this is Insane, like this is just like an edge of a field, and look at all this. Oh, so you could buy this place and turn it into that's what this is. This is cool. You could make it a field, or you could just buy it for grass. Oh, there is actually a little field over here. Is there anything planted? Nope, nothing planted in it. Oh, there are two fields. Is this just grass? Yep. is massive. 
And then you got yourself like a little... Is this a farmhouse? Or is this like a church? I'm not quite sure. Um, 2013... Kobolsh... Kobolkek... I don't know. I'm probably murdering it. But these are cool. Let's see. Where else could we go? So that... Would be the four... Eleven... Do you see the price of that thing? Eleven million dollars. What? Are you for real right now? So this was the neighborhood area that we were driving through. Oh, so if you buy... That's why it's so expensive. If you buy that, you get everything around the outside of the map. You're not just buying just that. You're buying this little piece of land down here. All this stuff. Even this? Yeah, you're even buying that. Okay, so I like it. Oh, and over here. You're pretty much just buying everything around. No wonder it's so expensive. Let's see. Let's take let's go up to the animal dealer and stuff. We gotta take Is it this road? Whoa. Guess we're taking a dirt road all the way up there. Sorry guys, one sec. Alright. Let's head up there. Come on, truck, go. I might not be doing this map justice because it's so big, it's hard for me to process where to go next, but I think this would be good. We're going to take this road all the way up, and as you can see, look at the freaking, look how big these fields are. They're so huge. Okay, if I thought I had a hard time on the pavement road, this is going to be, I, I almost guarantee we're going to see freaking crash into a tree. These fields are ginormous. You know what? We're going to drive through one. Just so we get an idea. Keep in mind, we're going like 70 miles an hour. So if you're going 6 miles an hour in a harvester... Yeah. Look at them. They're so huge. Where, is it? Where are we going? Oh, the animal dealer is just right up here. Now this would be a field that I could do, or even this one. I mean, this thing's even huge. It looks so small on the map, but still look at it, it's huge. It's a nice big field. Alright. Whoop! <laughs> right into the freaking pole. Everybody just lost their power. Alright, so this is, uh, from the looks of it, it looks like it's another sell point, and you got your animal dealer. So that's like a little shed. Maybe you could probably sell bells there? That's what it looks like. And then you got the animal dealer here. So this is where you come purchase your animals, looks like. Maybe sell milk. Very cool. And we're gonna drive over to the forest. Forest, I'm, I think that's what that is. Hold on, what's this area? Oh, it's probably if you wanted to buy this. Here, let's just look real quick. So we're right here. Oh, if you wanted to buy this area, it's like a a place for you to put down some placeables, it looks like. That's pretty cool. And it looks like it even includes a free log. And everybody loves free logs, so we're going to take it with us. If it will fit. Here we go. We got ourselves a free log. So let's head over to the forest. I think it's a forest. I could be wrong. You know, I should probably not have this log in here. I have a feeling I'm going to bang it on a tree and it's going to send this catapult us sideways. 
So I need to follow. Whoa! Whoa! I was looking at the map, guys. Jeez. Distracted driving. Let's not do that. Hey, at least we didn't lose our log. We better put some more straps on that thing. Alright. So, we need to go all the way around the edge. We're just going to lose the log. We don't need it. It's going to make us wreck. Not like I don't do that by myself here without the log. So I don't think we need any more things to handicap us. Okay, I'm trying to find a field that we can cut through. Oh, there's a fence there. There's a fence there. Is there a fence here? Nope, we made it, guys. Alright, so now we gotta go this way. Maybe if I'm driving on somebody's field, I won't wreck. But if there's a way, leave it to me, I'll find it. Oh, hold on, I wanted to check. I see trees off in the distance over here. Oh, so that's, that is where if you buy that. Look, I mean, look at all those trees. If you wanted to do logging, I mean, this map has options for it all, really. Oh no, you have a little island of trees. It, it looks like an island, like this is an ocean of crop, and then you have trees right in the middle. Trees and grass. Alright, we're working our way to the forest. Oh yeah, look at it. It's right there in front of us. Look at these huge, huge fields. Man. Alright, so here's the the main part of the forest, I'm, I'm thinking. I mean, it's all around the map, but yeah, this is the main part here. Very, very thick in trees. Trees everywhere. And I like how whoever made it put an arrangement of trees in. Not just the... I mean, here you got your big spruces, you know, the ones that are good, long and straight. But there's a big arrangement of them. Like, there's the crooked ones. So they're not all just the same type of tree. It's very cool. Oh my gosh, there's so many logs. Whoa. Whoa. Alright. So, we're gonna go back to the farm. Oh, that's not the farm. This is the shop with a cool tractor up on display. Oh, that's cool. Check it. See that? The green light? Yeah, that's sweet. So when it's in use, the little green light comes on. That is cool. I like that feature. I wonder if you can open this door. Nerf or personal. Alright, you guys. So yeah, this is a uh, brook or Hofka brook. It says, like I said, it's, it says Brook in the, on the title of it, but then when you go to download it from the mod hub, it's going to say Hofgut Brook. I like it. It's huge. Like I said, I think this would make a very cool and fun multiplayer experience. There's lots of room to add whatever you'd like. You have forestry for days. You have fields for days. And you have plenty of space to place, you know, cow pastures and all that stuff. Oh, one thing I'm curious about is if we go into the shop and we go to animal pens, I wonder if their pens are included. Oh, no. So you just have access to the standard ones, unless you were to download mods, of course. Some modded uh, paddocks and, and stables and pastures and stuff. But what it comes with, I mean, you have tons of options just to start off with. And I don't know if the... We have two silos here, so I don't know if the grain, ca if the capacity is increased, but I would say you're gonna need a uh, increased cap. Sorry, I just noticed this. This is coming from here. So is this really like a hail, a huge hayloft? Could you store loose hay and and straw in here? Not quite sure.
Oh, this is cool. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Okay, don't do that, you guys. What's this? Is this for the lights? Oh, nice. It's even got lights. But I like the sunroof. So in the daytime, you get natural light. I wonder if all of these have lights. Hold on, I was going to end it real quick, but... It sparked my interest. So we got lights here. Oh. Oh, that's cool. So you can actually just click on the, the buttons. What's this one? That's for that one. Is this for the lights? Ah, so there is a light switch. Right there. That's cool. I wonder if the cows have lights. Nope, I don't. I don't see them. I could be missing them. What about this one? Doesn't look like it. Not everything needs lights. But yeah, it's a it's a pretty cool map. I like it. It would be really fun to play this on on a multiplayer server. Oh, I love these gates. But yeah, you guys, uh, let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. If you like it, or if you think you might use it, or if you think, like I think, that it would make a really good... It would be... It's too big for me personally to just try to tackle something like this on my own. But if I had a multiplayer server, this would be a good map to, to do multiplayer on. There's plenty of room for tons of people to get around in. And look at the challenges. Uh, it would it would be it would be pretty fun I think. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and you guys have a wonderful day.